New images from the James Webb Telescope may be changing everything, giving scientists a glimpse at what our universe looked like more than 13 billion years ago, and it's not what they expected. In fact, the lead scientist of the study in Nature says he nearly spat out his coffee, saying, quote, we just discovered the impossible. What he's referring to are six massive galaxies dating back 13 billion years. They were only expecting to find, in their words, tiny young baby galaxies. Not ones like this, not ones just as old as our own. Between the new James Webb discoveries and unidentified objects being shot out of the sky this month, questions have certainly been swirling about what is above us. And when it comes to questions on science and the universe, you can't ask anyone better than astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson. He has a new book called Starry Messenger, which challenges readers to examine life's most discussed topics through a cosmic and scientific lens. We welcome now my guest, Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Thank you so much for joining us on News Nation. Thanks for having me. That was a great introduction. We don't need to do the interview. You did. <laughs> oh, we're all good. In the well, we'll wrap. No, no, no. But I want to hear what you have to say about this. Let's talk about the discovery from the James Webb uh, Space Telescope, because the lead scientist says that this upends what was considered settled science. In just two or three sentences, can you help us understand what is the significance here? Well, first of all, our best understanding of the beginning moments of the universe, you have this sort of cauldron of matter and energy that isn't quite in a situation yet to form stars or galaxies or any sort of tangible objects we know and love later. And so we, there's this period of time we identify as the dark ages where, yeah, there was matter and energy, but nothing shining yet. And the matter still had to coalesce and organize into these cities we call galaxies, cities of stars. So here you have this gap. And now the James Webb T Space Telescope is identifying objects in the dark ages that by best measurements we have are large, fully developed galaxies. So who ordered that? All right, so we, we're justifiably befuddled by it. And, but there's still other data that can still come in from these galaxies that will derive from their spectra. And when you get a spectrum of a galaxy, it's like the fingerprint of all of the chemistry that's going on in there and also, well, chemical elements that are going on in there, as well as where we would put it in the expansion model of the universe. Because maybe they're just a weird other kind of object and not the kind of object we think it should be. Because if it's a new kind of object, that's also a discovery. And so, uh, and, and by the way, the James Webb Space Telescope was conceived and designed to help us understand the origin of galaxies. So we shouldn't be surprised that it's forcing us to scratch our head. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.